In second grade, we used the Cardboard City project as a way to embrace the concepts of STEAM and integration for our students. STEAM is an acronym, of course, that represents science, technology, engineering, art, and math. But here at Berkeley Carroll, the way that we see STEAM in action is to see all those different subjects come together. And the goal of this project really is to create a city that would be modeled after the city that we live in. In the second grade, we're doing this project because the children are learning all about New York and they're thinking about how if they were city planners, what would they do if they were actually making a city? So in class, they learn all about the, the way that the city is organized and then they get to actually build it in STEAM. To prepare for this project, our students kind of had a lot of different things happening. We used the app Hoopa City to look what it was like to create our own digital city. We used that app for the students to start to think about how a city could be put together and then our students go on a neighborhood walk where they're being able to see what our neighborhood has. They got to see commercial places, residential places, and they use those categories to figure out how many residential buildings, how many commercial buildings are in the neighborhood so that when they actually made their own city would reflect what they see in reality. And then coming back to school, they worked with that data to organize it into categories. They were then able to develop their own understanding and meaning for this. The way the project works is that each student is assigned to a zone. From there, each student will get a land plot. Second grade math largely focuses on place value and understanding the number system and really building an understanding of how numbers fit together. We're using the different sized pieces of paper that become the plots as things to measure. And given the different sized pieces of paper, how can we construct a block? And their job is to fill that land plot with a building that would be in that zone. So for example, a student who got a services zone might decide to make a fire station. Our students have lots of visions in their brains and we're trying to help them make something that they'll be proud of. And this is where a friend might have had a great idea for building a fire escape and another friend might be struggling with that. They can start sharing their ideas with each other and they're more flexible because they want the city to make sense. In art class, they are learning about uh, facades and how to draw detailed drawings. We talked about ourselves as though we were architects and we took some images from our area and so the kids were able to take a look at a photograph of a real place here in Brooklyn and then the children were able to create the plan for the facade including all the architectural features of the fronts of their buildings. This city project adds color and life in a way that gives them the whole 360 concept of designing an actual city. After the students have built their building or place for our city, we come together as a full grade and we put the city blocks together. So that this is where the students get to think about what they saw on their walking tours. We are able to really get them to be critically thinking about how they're organizing things. I think they start to see we really did make a city. It wasn't just their pharmacy or their soccer stadium. They actually made all these different components. One of the things that we see the children getting out of this as they go through the process is they understand learning doesn't just happen in isolated subjects and they can actually create something much larger than the individual separated parts. They start looking at our community differently and thinking about the way that our neighborhood looks and it's inspiring them to continue to be builders and thinkers of how our city can be together.